Hi guys, this video is about pandas and the topic is type error, unhashable type list or dict, which is a common error for pandas. In this article and video you can find the steps in order to identify the error and then to solve it in several different ways. You can find detailed explanation in the article with many examples and we'll do a quick demonstration of the error. Let's work with this data frame. As you can see, we have column which is list of values and we have a column which is dictionary of values. If we try to apply operations like value count on these columns, we will get type error and hashable type for both of them. And this is going to be the same for uh, some other operations like transform and so on. In order to identify the problem, you need to guess what values do you have inside your columns. If you try to use the types, you'll get object, which is not the best way to identify do you have list or dictionary in your columns. That's why we can use apply map and lambda and then try all the cells in a given column. Do we have list or dictionary? And as you can see, for column Q we have true, which is about list and for column 3 in the next example we have dictionary. If you want you can combine them with example like this by using or and finally you have a list of all columns which are list or dictionary and you may apply some additional operations in order to make value count to work. Let's start with converting the column to string. First we will convert column which is list and as you can see we get the string value of the list as a count and the same is for dictionary. We can apply the same conversion by using group by and as you can see if we don't convert the column and we try to use group by we will get an error which is again the same error. And after conversion, we can get our results. Another possible way to solve this problem is by converting the columns to tuple. But this time we will get different results for list and dictionary. For list, we get uh, the list, which is converted to tuple and the values. But for dictionary, we will get only the keys. And this is a uh, typical difference when you are trying to convert list or dictionary column to tuple. Another way to solve this problem is by expanding the list column. And here it's really important for you to know how to expand list column and whether the column is list containing list stored as a list or as, as a string. Uh, the way to expand list column is by using apply panda series and then get the results for this uh, function for example for value counts and as you can see after the expansion we have these results uh, for our date frame and this is for the second column which is expanded from this operation. Sometimes you have columns which have mixed values like this example here. Let me output the date frame. As you can see, column Q has list which is containing a list with one value and we have integer. In this case, you can apply lambda, but this time we will return the value if it is uh, not list. And in case of a list, we will return only the first item for this list by using this lambda here. And then we will apply again the operation value count. And as you can see right now, we get without type error the result what we want from this column. And finally I wanted to say what is the correct way to expand list column and that it's really important for you to make difference between string which contains list and list which is stored as a string. Let's have this date frame which is the same as the first one. Let's try to split this uh, column too. And maybe you are going to expect to have a zero 
5 and 0, 1 in separate columns as output. If you expect to have this, this is not the reality. And as you can see, we have none values. And this is because we are trying to apply string operation on list. And that's why we, had, we have an unexpected result. One way to solve this problem is by converting the list column to string. But again, we have some unexpected results by having brackets in our output. And this is not, not the best way to solve it. And the correct way to expand list or dictionary column is by using dot apply pd series. And in this way, we will get exactly what we expect. And then we can work with these uh, new columns and new data frames. For example, you can set use uh, this output as an index for your data frame. And finally, I wanted to mention that if you want to do a calculation for each of those items in this list column, then you can check this video here, which I will post in the description below. And you can find all the steps how to get the at atomic values for this list column and finally how to get the calculation for each of them and the total count for them and that's all for this video if you like it please put a like if you have any problems or suggestions again share them in the comment section below thank you for watching and see you next time